Hello everybody! In this video I'm gonna show you how you can customize Music Panda Pro to use external screen for your uh, band members for other musicians. In my own studio I have four external screen that are connected to my MacBook and uh, I have one external screen that is connected to the display port and I have also uh, an external screen like this one which is a USB screen and I also have some interface like this USB to H HDMI be sure to select interface that are compatible with Mac so for my example today I only have one external screen so I will create a setup with two bands like my own setup I have two bands also so now for my example I will only have one band member which is uh, imagine that the external screen is for the basement and I have two basemen Ivan and Richard so I will configure to set up for those members. So the first thing you have to do is to create window ID or nickname. So you go into the window WID preferences which means window ID. And I, I already have created two window ID here. I have Ivan and RC. I leave all of the field the default value for every column. So after having creating those window ID you have to go in the inspector object inspector using command I and you select the binder window on the external screen and you set the WID to Ivan for the first for the first band member for my band number one and you save the current screen set so the the screen set number seven will be my band number one then one. I will load another screen set which is a normal screen set which by default is the master WID window ID for both screen. I will go in the inspector I will select the binder window of the external screen and I will set the WID here to Richard RC and I can change the colors and everything for Richard. Um, I can customize. He, maybe he wants to have a, a metronome according to signature and so on. And I will save the current screen set. I will rename the current screen set and I will name it Band Two. So, when I play with band number one, I only have to load the screen set number seven. And you cannot see it in the tiny uh, external screen, but in the top right corner of the external screen, I can see that it's written Ivan. And when I load the other screen set, band number two, I can see that it's written RC in the top right corner. RC for Richard. Um, for the metronome, I will just, for an example, I will add a big metronome, big tempo for Richard. I will place it at the bottom of the screen here.
save this screen set and if I start the metronome you can see that I can set it to according to signature okay and if I go on the screen set for the band 1 I have a different configuration for the band number 1 so um, this is my basement is Ivan and imagine he said he sent me uh, some file that he want to use because he don't want to use my own file for by example have you ever seen the rain this is the same music sheet that it is displayed on both screen and Ivan said Ivan sent me his own version of for this song so I will select the menu song reveal and finder and I will copy the file name the current file name for the song because I want the exact file name and I will go in the download folder and I will give this exact same name and I will add minus 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 Ivan I will do the same thing for other song wherever you will go I click on the song menu reveal and finder and I select the file name I press command C to copy the file name and I go in my download folder and I will rename the file that I have received from Ivan and I will add minus 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 Ivan I will do the same for kryptonite I have kryptonite here I go in the song menu reveal in finder I copy the file name of the of my, my my version of kryptonite I'm going to the download folder and I rename the version of kryptonite that Ivan sent to me I had minus 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 Ivan so I have three specific version for those songs from Ivan I move them in my master folder and I'm going back to music binder and now you can see on the external screen that it contains some bass tabs and this is the same for have you ever seen the rain and this is the same for wherever you will go I have some bass tab so now Ivan has his own version for those song if I'm going to the other screen set band number two now it's Richard and Richard has the same version as me he, he doesn't have the, the version of Ivan he can provide he can give me some specific version like Ivan and it's the same process I'm going to check it out as you can see this song check it out is I play the song with the capo on the second fret so it, it is written in the in my note here capo plus two but Richard don't doesn't want to put a capo on his bass he would like to have the, the, the same songs but transpose in A instead of J G what I can do is I go in the song menu manage alternate version and I RC here for Richard I click the create button to create 
a specific version for Richard and I can use the transpose button and select plus two proceed and I hit command enter or I close the window and now as you can see on the external screen the chords are in A instead of G so now Richard can play the song without a capo but in the you can not see it clearly but in the title bar I can see on the external screen that is written capo plus two I will put a big note on the external screen so you can see it clearly uh, going to window new object note and I will put the big note here with the WID set to Richard like is binder window so as you can see Richard sees exactly the same note as me I could change this behavior in the window WID preferences I could change it here note behavior I could use only specific note for Richard so as you can see on the external screen it's blank but most of the time maybe it wants to see my own note so I will leave it to use master note as default but for this song I don't want to display capo plus two for Richard so I will go in the note using dash and I will type a note for Richard or, or I can leave it blank and now as you can see I still have my note capo plus two but Richard has his own note okay to finish I only want to talk about the I will stop the metronome I only want to talk about the external the, the foot switch I have two foot switch here a legend eye which is a MIDI foot switch I can use the foot switch to change pages and it changes pages for both screen and it's the same thing for the Airturn BT105 here I can use it to change pages the BT105 currently send page up and page down maybe Richard want to display the lyrics the, the, the music sheet bigger so I could change the display mode for Richard here and I could set instead of display mode auto I could set it to half page zoom but in this case I will have to as you can see I have a rectangle on my own screen I will have to, uh, to, to control the page change for Richard I don't want to do this I want him to control his own page change so I can select using the inspector I can select the, his binder window and I can uncheck sync page change here and I can check use page up page down so now I can control my own page change using the MIDI foot switch here and Richard can control his own page change using the BT-105 if you have multiple musicians that want to control their own page change you can have multiple MIDI like this MIDI foot switch and use different channel by example if I want to use this 
midi foot switch to control the this screen I can go in the midi menu here midi triggers and I can simply for the two trigger here I can type RC which is the window ID of the Richard screen if I put RC here I can no longer use the MIDI foot switch for my screen but as you can see I can use it for the external screen so that's it for today bye bye